crash and burn. Hey everyone. So today I am going to be discussing an absolute classic from music. Came out way, way back. This, if I'm not mistaken, too. This would be the late 90s. This would be... I can't... Why, why couldn't I check these things out before I decide to do these videos, eh? You'd think... Oh yeah, that's right. It doesn't really matter because I'm just going to have the text come up and correct me. So it was released a ways back. And today I will be discussing Lunatic Harness from Music's early classic period. Now I do have to say, um, he has done, he has such a wide, like his discography is massive. And I have to say, I don't really consider anything he's done to be bad. Definitely not. Um, I like pretty much everything he's done, and I don't own all of them, but I have a bunch of his stuff, especially from his earlier period, like this here. This album, I used to love this back when I was a kid. My God, I don't listen to it so much anymore, mainly because I burnt this record out. It's, it's one of those albums. It's kind of like in System of a Down's entire discography. I can't listen to pretty much anything from System anymore. I have especially uh, hypnotized and mesmerized. I can't do that anymore because I'm just, I've overdone it. And it's almost like it, it, it ceased to be music and it's just been pulled apart into like a giant state of like nothing. And whereas I haven't taken this album to those lengths yet, I have listened to this, like I can't tell you how many times I've listened to this throughout the course of the past couple decades and there are so many awesome songs on here i mean you got brace yourself jason hasty boom alert blaineville lunatic harness my little beautiful wannabe I, I, I don't know what to say pretty much every song on here this is one giant complete package if you like the first song you're probably going to like the last song you like the fourth song you're going to like the ninth song and it's like i said it's his like early classic period when he was fresh on the scene and he was really turning heads with everything he was doing. And he hasn't stopped because we have him to thank for Planet Mew, which is an awesome label. And it has given us so many classic pieces of music in addition to releasing pretty much everything that the Venetian Snares has done. I know technically that's not true. Marin Funk has released a number of records for a number of different labels over the years, but the lion's share of them have been on Planet Mew. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, too, yeah, that's right. Time Sig is uh, through, Planet, through Planet Mew, too. That's right. Forgot about that. But yeah, I mean, this is one of those albums. If you like that like late 90s, early 2000s IDM sound where things were like so crazy, this record is definitely for you. And if you don't like that stuff, you're going to hate this because that's what this record is. And it's got that like in spades and it doesn't stop from start to finish it's fun it's bouncy it's catchy it's clever and yeah so i think that's all i'm going to say about lunatic harness music and i'm going to go so thank you so much for checking this out don't forget to like and subscribe and like always i will see you guys soon have a good night I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.